Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mediocre Reviews and Awesome Brews. I'm your host, Tony. And I'm Jesse. And today we've got for you Founders KBS. And uh, Jesse was able to score a bottle or two and he gave me this one. And I thought, um, might as well re review it with him and uh, go ahead and crack it up and let you pour it. All right. Now this comes in at uh, it's 70 IBUs and... It's 11.2% yes. ABV. Get a little bit closer here. Hey. Wow. Uh, extreme, extremely dark head on it. Um, Barely any head at all. I mean, I didn't I was, pour it too aggressively. Yeah, but I was able to swirl up a little bit more, but I mean, less than an eighth of a finger's worth. Um, Extremely dark, almost like um, like a I don't know, like a moose sort of a color. Um, now this is one of KB, uh, KBS is one of Founders' many imperial stouts, and it was aged in uh, bourbon barrels, um, and it's also brewed with chocolate and coffee, so right. it should have some pretty nice flavor notes there. And uh, other than that, I mean it's absolutely pitch black. Yeah. Get a nose on it. Yeah, definitely. Oh wow! Huge coffee mm. up front. Definitely getting a little bit of a, not much, but a little bit of a bourbon in there. That that coffee is really pronounced. If there's there's some sweetness, yeah. kind of like a chocolate, almost a molassesy, uh, kind of rich, dark. Uh, I I definitely get like a, a really deep, um, uh, sort of dark sweetness in there. Um, mm -hmm. From the malt. Uh, mm. Oh, I, I am getting a little bit more of that alcohol -y sort of bourbon character in there now. Uh, swirl. I got a really nice swirl on the glass. Other than that, yeah. uh, that coffee is very pronounced. Definitely. Right, go ahead and get a taste on it. Definitely. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. That is a nice beer. Wow. Like first off what mm. what got me was a, a really nice creamy mouthfeel on it. Um, there's definitely vanilla in there. Definitely getting some bourbon, a little bit of a alcohol burn on the tongue. A little bit. Not too bad for yeah. eleven two. You know, it's it's actually I'd say it's it's pretty mild. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, quite a bit of coffee yes. coming through. Nice, rich, like you said, incredibly smooth and creamy. Uh, amazing mouthfeel. Yeah, that, that the coffee that's in there really mingles really well with the roasted malt. Um, are you getting much uh, chocolate in there at all? Actually, kind of at the end. I'm getting just a little bit of it coming through as the coffee fades mm -hmm. kind of into a chocolate. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that, that, that oaky, vanilla, bourbon oh, yeah. character a lot more um, than anything else other than the coffee, of course. Uh, the coffee is very pronounced. Really, really nice. Yeah, I gotta say, it's a very, very pronounced coffee, mm -hmm. but it's not too overwhelming. It's not too bitter like some coffee stouts that we've had in the past. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's not, there's no, I, I'm not getting any coffee bitterness at, at all. Mm -hmm. It's just pure coffee flavor. Yeah, it's beautifully balanced. I mean, it's it's some coffee, some vanilla, mm -hmm. a little bit of bourbon, fading into a very mild chocolateness. Just all together, smooth, and I'd say amazing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I am getting a little bit of that chocolate now on the, on the back of the palate there. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's, it's right as the, uh, the beer rolls off the back of your tongue. Right. Right. I don't know about you, but I am definitely getting some of that alcohol in the chest. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's... it's at first now. it wasn't there, but now it, it's, uh, it's definitely there now. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, that nice creamy mouthfeel on it. Um, I can't believe how smooth and balanced this is. Um, it goes so down so easy. I yeah. Mean, I wish we had more to... It's just... Oh, yeah. So nice. So, um, you think it's worth the... Uh, 
worth all the buzz and everything and the price and how well, hard it was to get. There's another look at the label there. Jesse was pointing out earlier that there's a skull there. And it's The label kind of reminds us of, um, or it's based on like the snake oil salesman of the mm -hmm. past. Um, Actually, I really like the, uh, the caption underneath. It says, a stout ale aged in oak bourbon barrels. But underneath that, it says, does not give relief from rheumatism, neuralgia, uh, sciatica, lame back, lumbago, contracted muscles, toothache, sprains, swellings, and all manner of distress. <laughs> Below that, it says, is good for everything a stout ought to be good for. Mm -hmm. And I can definitely attest to that. Yes, definitely. So, before I interrupt you, uh, yeah. interrupted you. So <laughs> is it worth, you know, all the trouble? I gotta say, this has got to be one of my favorite beers ever. Um, mm -hmm. It's really, really too bad that they don't get more of this out and make it more available, you know, to everyone. Because yeah. everyone should have access to a good beer like this. Definitely. That being said, if you like a good, smooth stout, I mean, if this is your style of beer, you know, imperial stout, basically, yeah, I'd say it's definitely worth it. If you can get your hands on it, go for it. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> I'm a great on this. What do you think? A plus, no doubt. Definitely. Um, I mean, usually I, I, I grade beers. Uh, they get docked a little bit for how hard they are to get a hold of. But um, this, I mean, it's well worth all the trouble. Um, seeing as how I didn't get it. So, um, but yeah, definitely A plus uh, on my end here. Um, wow, well, we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and get out of here, guys, and uh, talk to you later. Cheers. 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 Thanks for watching.